my review for the amazing spider-man but yeah so the amazing spider-man was really good really 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 good you mean red butterflies oh yes of course hmm? guys today i'm going to be doing my review for the amazing spider-man and i have already seen this movie before checking out this movie just as a warning just because i know that a lot of people are probably going to watch this movie with you and they might think it's my first time watching the movie no it's not also i decided to um have this t-shirt i don't know why but i i do kind of want to have it as one that i wear in my videos so i'm going to start having it but yeah so the Amazing Spider-Man was really good, really, 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 really good. I love it. In my opinion, it's my second favourite costume of the movies. My first one is Tobey Maguire's, but I do love, I really do love the Amazing Spider-Man one. Personally, I kind of wish that Andrew didn't change a, to a different costume. I wish he just stuck with the amazing spider-man one but yeah i guess it's fine but yeah this movie is really fun i love the costume i really do i love the detail i love how the lens has like a mirror in it or like the material is like the material is like a mirror sort of i really like that and then also and then also I do like how we start the movie with this really cool music which I do love the music by the way that it starts with and I love how we get to see Peter as uh, kind of like a toddler I'd say I don't know I don't really know what age but I like how we basically see uh, Peter or you know Andrew in this case as a little kid and then he gets the glasses and then we kind of flash back well flash into um his current age which is kind of like teenager i think so yeah that's pretty cool and then also i the, the actual death that we got of because we got the death of the father of gwen stacy i did actually kind of cry and like find this kind of sad i don't know if i would when i react to it on my channel but it's definitely i like the emotion emotional aspect that it's got in this movie there's also a deleted scene in the second movie this isn't really related but i'll just let you guys know but in the second movie there's a deleted scene where peter meets his dad that died as like a hallucination while he's near the graves which is interesting so yeah i i definitely like this movie i love the emotional as aspect i love the costume i really like the costume i love the lens and i also like the villain dr connor the guy that basically became a lizard and he tried to transform everyone into lizards until he turned himself into a lizard then he tried to turn the whole city into lizards it was crazy it's an interesting idea and when i was watching it i was thinking to myself dr connor's versus lumic from doc 2 that would be pretty funny lumic uh john lumic and dr connor 1v1 him because they're both scientists that want to up humanity which to be fair i would want us to be a little bit more better in terms of not dying and weakness but yeah you, you, it's probably not a good idea because yeah it just wouldn't work so yeah the actual the actual movie was really good i like how we got a scene where peter is like breaking things because of his strength i really like that that was pretty funny i also like how he basically shattered a glass door which is interesting that, that is actually kind of funny not gonna lie so yeah um this movie was i i i just can't go over how good this movie is i love 
I just love the costume. I wish they went with this in Amazing Spider-Man 2, but they didn't. They decided, you know what, we're going to go with a new costume. I don't like that. And also, I really hate how in Spider-Man No Way Home, they stuck with the Amazing Spider-Man 2 costume. Like, they completely didn't bring the Amazing Spider-Man costume. I wanted the Amazing Spider-Man one, but no, they went with the second one because God knows they want to, and it's really annoying because that costume is better than the Amazing Spider-Man 2. For sure. It's literally... I Like, I don't know if people hate the costume, but... I mean, you can't really hate it. It's really cool. It's honestly a very cool-looking costume. Better than Toby's, because Toby's is, like, a very iconic costume. It's kind of what you would know the original spider-man to look like whereas andrew's first one is a little bit more advanced version of that you know it's like it's very very cool looking and i also like where andrew basically just gets spiders all over him which is pretty funny and then obviously he gets one in his neck that he has to pull the web from and it's kind of um, kind of reminds me how I don't like spiders because I'm arachnophobia and I don't like spiders like I don't mind being near one it's just them crawling on me so any room I have I would not want a spider in it because I just don't I just don't want any especially big ones but yeah this movie is this movie and I did actually say this yesterday which I didn't mean to say this but I guess I did Yesterday, uh, yesterday night, I did say, yeah, this movie is amazing because it is quite literally, no pun intended, but this movie of Amazing Spider-Man is amazing. It, it, yeah, so it's a pretty good movie. Um, what else should I talk about? We have the, the, the actual battle against Lizard and Andrew, or Sp Spider-Man in this case. Um, I like how <laughs> Spider-Man casually got some cuts and bruises and injuries and the actual slashes he got on his chest is so graphic but I love it. I, I just love it because I like horror and I like the colour of the actual injury, I'm not going to lie. I also like just the makeup that they've done because obviously it's makeup, obviously. It looks really good. It, it really does look good and there's also how that fight scene in the school is not gonna lie it was a really cool fight scene i also like how peter's like oh someone's been a bad lizard uh oh somebody's been a bad lizard that was the best insult not gonna lie i kind of laughed at that so definitely a good insult and also And also, we have Uncle Ben's death. I don't really need to talk about it because... I don't really want to because I know what it's like already. It doesn't even affect me, but yeah, it, it, it kind of sucks how he died. I don't know if I found it emotional, but it's definitely an emotional aspect. And yeah, I mean, this movie is just... I, th I think the movie is similar to the first Spider-Man because in the first Spider-Man, Uncle Ben dies and when he died, Peter basically let the guy go loose and he didn't think it was his problem. In Amazing Spider-Man, that's the same. So I wonder if that's intentional or not. It, it probably isn't intentional, but I definitely see that as intentional. So. But yeah, I think to conclude this movie review, I would say 10 out of 10. I would say all Spider-Man movies are 10 out of 10. I know a lot of people think Madam Web is a Spider-Man movie, even though it's not, because there is no Spider-Man in it. And Morbius isn't Spider-Man. Um, plus, it hasn't even got anything to do with Spider-Man. So I don't know why people call them two movies Spider-Man movies. There's no Spider-Man in it. Morbius has absolutely nothing to do with Spider-Man, so yeah, I mean the only thing I like about Morbius is uh, Matt Smith. I, I, I might actually make 
a movie review if I watch it again, but yeah, it is literally just... Those two movies aren't Spider-Man movies, but Amazing Spider-Man, that was really good. I do like the second one, but I'm not keen on the costume. I like the black webs of the second one, but aside from that, I'm not keen on the actual costume. So, I also love the shade of red. Nothing else. I, I don't like that costume as much. But, anyway, that concludes the movie review. 10 out of 10 for this movie is really amazing. No pun intended. And yeah, if you did like this movie review, then subscribe, do the fin. Make sure you go to his channel, subscribe, and do the thing! And have a legendary day, go check out Amazing Spider-Man and Amazing Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man movies in general because those movies are amazing, quite literally. And yeah, have a legendary day.